Yo, what's up guys? Joker bringing you another video for the 3.25 Settlers of Calgary League. I wanted to go ahead and before my day due to progress video, I wanted to throw up a short video explaining a mechanic that a lot of people are misunderstanding and they're getting either frustrated or upset with. And that's going to be Tujin here, the Harbor Master, right? Essentially, a lot of people are misunderstanding how this mechanic works, and that's why I want to go ahead and explain it. So to show that I've done a lot with this mechanic, I have the max shipping rank, and uh, my relationship with most of the nations is relatively high. So I'm going to explain what I mean by that here in a second, but just kind of showcasing that... Um, well, mainly these three. I haven't finished the other two quite yet. But let me explain how this mechanic works and how people are getting it wrong and misunderstanding and potentially save you the frustration and prevent you from wasting all of your resources. So if you go on to any stream, you're going to see people doing shit like this. They just go ahead and they're throwing all of their resources onto a ship and sending it to a random nation. They're saying things like, oh, I sent them one million ship value and they gave me two C. Well, the reason why that is, is because this is a relationship type system. You have to build your relationship with a nation for them to give you better rewards, as well as when you build a relationship with a nation, they're going to give you more bang for your buck, right? Uh, they're essentially going to have you send them less resources, but they're going to give you more in return. So this is what you usually see people doing right now. And this is not what you want to do. This is just a waste of resources. And since this does take quite a while to actually gather, I wanted to put an end to this like right now, right? To stop you guys from wasting your time. So first thing that I have to address is I'm still working on what nations give you what rewards exactly. If it's based directly tied to the resources you send them, like some people say, or if it is based on the nations, I'm pretty positive it's based on the nations. But since they take a while for me to actually send a ship there and get the rewards, I I need a larger, a larger sample size, right? Because uh, the league's only been live for two days, so with four-hour shipments, it's I can only get so many done in a day, right? But with that first part out of the way, if you're doing this, stop it right now. You're wasting your resources. What you want to do is pick whatever nation you think looks pretty. The closer it is to the port, the faster your ships will get there and get back. These two ports take like, I think it's like 45 minutes or something with the slow ship. They These two take um, an hour and 45 minutes. No. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These two take an hour and 45 minutes. And to get to Calgary and back, it takes four hours. And that's... That's for me with like a maxed out shipping spec, right? So um, it is quite a lot. So pick whatever one you think looks pretty. If you want to do the, uh, if you want to be rewarded quicker, pick the nations that are quicker. I'm assuming all of them will have like a relatively good return on investment. It's just dependent on your relationship level, right? So as you can see, Ribbon fell once 30,000 pumpkins and 12,000 black xanthium. Uh, Nagan Ku once 64,000 crimson iron, uh, 86,000 orichalcum, and 10,000 blue xanthium. As you can see, these numbers are probably significantly higher and then yours, right? Yours probably look more like this, where uh, like Tianu, who wants uh, 570 pumpkins 
and 620 ore gourds, right? So let me explain this. These resources that they're asking for, like I mentioned, I'm still in the process of seeing if there is a specific loot type tied to the type of resource, like some people are assuming. But as of right now, it seems pretty random, right? It, it seems to just go up in tier as your friendship level increases. That's the only correlation that I've been able to find. Like the blue Xanthium, for example, you need a level eight farm. I think it's eight. It's either eight or seven to actually even grow it. Uh, yeah, a level seven farm, right? So... It's just a much higher level resource, but for that higher level resource, I'm getting a higher level loot multiplier, which is what you see by the side. And that's why when you go ahead and you select a place, and that's why when you go ahead and you select a nation, some of the rewards are just giving you infinitely more uh multipliers right so let's use the example of the crimson uh, uh no actually let's use the ori calcum right because that's what they want and i don't have any blue xanthium so i can't really showcase that so if we give them wheat it's going to be 24k however if we go ahead and give them ori calcum it's going to be 74k almost 75k as you can see for less resources, I'm getting, what, five times the shipping value with the nation because of my friendship level with them. And that's essentially what this is, is when you build your relationship with a nation, your rewards are going to be multiplied by whatever that loom multiplier is. So this means in late game, you're going to be receiving an insane amount of loot for sending very little resources. And that's where, like in the showcase, they were getting the ships back full three pages worth of loot. My biggest loot has only barely finished one page. Um, so I haven't even hit like the two, three pages of loot, right? But I wanted to make a video going over this because I see a lot of people doing it wrong and they're getting angry and frustrated and they're uh, wasting all of their resources. Since this is a time gated mechanic, I wanted to catch you guys as soon as I could and tell you stop. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm still messing around with the other mechanics, right? Uh, I have a level six or seven. Uh, I have only a level five mapper. I have a level seven farm. My townhouse is level eight, right? It takes it, it takes a lot of fucking gold. And, and these guys do burn through a lot of it, right? And then I have level six runesmith. So uh, I have been leveling up everything to try to see what I can get, but you, I on average right now only get like 8k per map and I'm in T16 maps. I can't super juice, but I've done like most of my Atlas. Um, gold does scale directly with quantity. I have figured that out. So like if you can do eight modded maps or T17s, you're going to get significantly more gold. Uh, but yeah. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to go ahead and showcase that. You know what I'm going to do real quick, actually? I'm going to cut right here. I'm going to make a ship. And I'm going to send it to Naghanu. And I am going to show you the rewards that I get back. It's only 35 minutes that I have to wait. So let's go ahead and max this out real quick. So what do you want? You want crimson iron, crimson iron, and then you want ori calcum. So ori calcum and ori calcum. Okay. Oh, wow. I don't really have. And then your risk meter increases um, based on unwanted rewards as well is another thing. As you can see, they don't want 
the thaumaturgic dust. So that's what's causing your risk to go up. And that's what causes you to have these unwelcome um, outcomes. You can do shipments with literally zero risk. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send this to them real quick. Uh, that looks good. And we'll set sell and we'll be back in 36 minutes. Okay, so the ship just got back. Let's go ahead and take a look. Now, before I open this, I'm going to tell you right away, it's not going to be the best because one, I only made this correlation like less than 10 hours ago. And two, I've only leveled up the island like three times, right? But the rewards are still substantially more than you're receiving. I know that for a fact, right? Um, so if we go ahead and take a look, some of the stuff sometimes actually is decent. Um, I I've sold some items for like, uh, I've sold some items for like 30, 40 C. I mean, granted it's a league start. Sometimes there is decent stuff in here, so it's worth giving it a hover. I mean, look at that. That's not terrible. Fucking 143 life, double res, like, and then it has 1500 evasion. Like, that's not bad. And then uh, we got boots. They got move speed, life, and chaos res. So, and then we got a tattoo. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to go ahead and throw this video up because I keep seeing people misunderstanding how this mechanic works. Um, hope this helps. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with this in future content. I'm going to be making more videos on like the rest of the league mechanic as soon as I break down how it works, right? But yeah, until next time, take care.